Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Let's Play. This is Alpha 5 Season 5, and this is Episode 3. And I'm here on the uh, the first screen of the game because I actually wanted to show you something. Check it out. I've got a stream game going. Yeah, I started a stream game just for me and Fat Planet to play on, and whoever else I feel like inviting into the game. And uh, for those of you who are watching this video who don't know that I stream, I usually stream like Fridays or Saturday nights, you know, here and there. Just keep an eye out on my channel. Usually when I stream, I put up, actually always when I stream, I put up a video, you know, letting you guys know I'm going to be streaming. So I do have a stream game, but that's not what you guys are here to see. You're here to see uh, episode three of my single player game, so let's get started. Now, I went on the game and I torched up the whole area up top and I did some inventory management and I basically got myself ready to go. Uh, a couple people were telling me on the comments that there is an actual cardboard box called Garage Storage, and these are the boxes you're going to find the auger in. Um, yeah, that's right. This is going to be an auger hunt again. Uh, try and make it as entertaining as possible. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, so, my idea is to hit, hit the garage right here, because I was told that's a good place for the auger. And I'm actually running out of food, and what I really need is... Um, is potato seeds. So I'm gonna come down here to this housing development and I'm gonna look for food and hopefully potato seeds. And I will show you my inventory really quick. Some One of the people on my comments told me that uh, one thing they do when they're going out is they just they only take the things they absolutely need uh, when they're going out. Basically their guns, their painkillers to heal themselves, uh, you know torches, ammo, Stuff like uh, food and drink and stuff like that. Now, this is even a little bit more stuff than they told me to take. But I, I do want a couple, you know, basic items to take with me. So, basically what I'm saying is I'm clearing out my inventory for more loot when I go out. Oh, darn it. He fell all the way. Oh, well. And I wanted to show you one other thing. This... Uh, crossbow is actually quite well at s does quite well at sniping. Let's see if we can find a zombie that's not moving. I don't see any, so that's an acid spitter right there. So let's see if we can get him. There we go. We just hit him from here. And look at that, guys. This cro all right. That's OP. There's no way a crossbow should be hitting so far away. Uh, I'm not complaining, but my goodness, that's pretty crazy. Just knock this down because it's in my way. Alright. So, it's almost 7. I'm kind of tempted to go down there now. But, alright, we don't want this torch right here because that's too close to being in the way. There we go. And, let's go. Ah, to hell with it. Let's go. Now, I think most of the zombies are up there. So, we're just going to come down here. I'm going to loot that, uh, that spitter. Actually, while we're over here, let's do this as well. Oh, it looks like we're going to have a fight here. I don't want to hit that gas can behind him. Oh man, the freaking cop disappeared on me. Alright, let's just go. I don't need to be dealing with this crap. So, I have learned a couple things. Uh, first of all, you know how I said forget about um, going to Gravetown for the auger? Well, apparently, a lot of people, a lot of people have found the, found the auger in Gravetown. Now, basically, a lot of people were giving me information when I was streaming the other day. And um, on the stream, I actually went to Gravetown, and I didn't find an auger, but I did find a lot of those... Uh, cardboard boxes, those garage boxes that the auger is supposed to spawn in. So I am actually going to go to Gravetown. Also, I'm thinking about making Gravetown one of my outpost bases. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a main base and that's going to be right by Spillway Lake. But also what I'm... Oh, I should get that rabbit. Where'd he go? Oh, come on. The, the, the freaking bushes are protecting him. There we go. 
Now, normally I wouldn't chase down a rabbit, but I'm actually in desperate need of food. So, and I never really think about uh, rabbits and stuff as food, I, but I should. I mean, I should really keep a lookout for them when I'm out in the wild because they're really good food, actually. Especially if you can get a deer. Deers are, like, ridiculously good food. Where am I? Okay, I'm going the right way. So, like I said, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the... Uh, actually, maybe I should hit the town first. I'm going to hit the town first, and then I'm going to hit the gas station. Because if worse comes to worse, I could stay at that gas station easily. Much more easily than the town, at least. The town is a really not a good place to stay. So, I'm going to actually hit the town first. And what I'm looking for in the town is food water, and basic supplies, but what I really want in there is potato seeds. If I can get potato seeds, my food problems will be over. Now, you can easily farm in this game, and I will show you that when I get to that point, uh, but the thing that really makes uh, the thing that really makes potatoes nice is because they give you the most food back uh, for just the generic stuff you can, you, can, you can grow. You can grow a lot of different things. You can grow... You can grow blueberries, corn, and potato seeds. And blueberries and, and corn do not give you a lot of food back at all. It's actually extremely poor on the amount of food you get back. Uh, potato seeds give you more. Now, even potato seeds don't give you a ton back, but it's still better than the than the corn and and uh, than the corn and the blueberries. Now, you can make um, cornbread and blueberry pie. And that's actually a good choice. You could do that, but the problem is it takes water. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be... There we go, potato seeds. You know what? I don't really have to... I could go. Honestly, that's all I really needed here. Um, like I said, you can make cornmeal and uh, turn that into cornbread, and you can make blueberry pie. And those are both very good... Um, uh, cardboard box. That's not going to have an auger. And those are very good... Uh, um, sources of food, but like I said, you do have to use water because, water for it, and uh, I guess it's really not a big deal, but I like potatoes. Eventually, I'll, I'll, I'll basically be growing everything. So, I actually, I guess it really doesn't matter. I will be growing everything. Uh, blueberries should be easy to get. Corn's going to be easy to get. The potato, the potato seeds were definitely going to be the hardest thing to get, but we already have them, so let's move along. And by the way, cleaning up my inventory as... As much of a duh moment as that is to say, of course, Cage, clear out your inventory before you go on loot runs. Um, I don't know why I never thought of it. Like, I kind of clear out my inventory before loot runs, but obviously not enough. Like, I don't clean out enough. Like, I usually like, well, I'm going to need this, and I might need this, and I might need that. You know, like, I might need some iron. I might need backup guns. I'm not going to need iron or backup guns for one loot run. You don't go, it doesn't, your guns don't degrade that much, your tools aren't used that much. You definitely don't need backup guns and backup tools. Uh, you don't need a lot of food or drink, if any, because you'll actually find a lot on the loot run. So you, you could go on a loot run with just your basic guns and ammo and pff, be okay. So. And I actually want to start working with pistols as well. And I've been, uh, I've been avoiding the, or leaving the pistols behind, which is not cool. So I'm going to go over here and loot up this gas station, but while I am looting up this gas station, I am going to go over some of the comments you guys had. Uh, like I said, if I find interesting comments, comments that help me, or comments that I want to read for any given reason, I'm going to write them down and read them. And I wrote them down, and I'm going to read them now. Ooh, that guy got messed up. Let me just, uh, this isn't a good time to be looking at my... Looking at my laptop, though, so <laughs> bear with me. Alright, that paper's gotta go. I can eat the food. I can eat that food. Uh, I can eat a couple cans of tuna. I can loot that up. Shoot you in the face. Yeah, Cage Dixon in the house. That's what I'm talking about. I like this crossbow. Uh, someone else told me... Uh, some people were talking about how I need to find another melee weapon. So I'm actually going to 
I'm actually going to look for another melee weapon. I'm thinking... Uh, a lot of people said the sledgehammer, but the sledgehammer is a little expensive. So I'm thinking about trying one of the one-handed clubs. Where are you going? Got to be careful in here because it's dark. They can... They can run. So let's get our torches on there. Come in here, you put up a torch right away. And you just light the sucker up. What kind of cardboard? Uh, that's just a cardboard box. We're looking for the garage cardboard box version thingy. Uh, is that one? No, that's just a cardboard box. I'm surprised this is like, this is a, a garage. Why isn't there a garage cardboard box in here? Um, all right, let's go ahead and fix up some of these pistols. I'm definitely going to stay at this place tonight because I won't make it back to my other place in time. So we'll definitely stay here tonight for sure. What's this cardboard box? Uh, it's just a cardboard box. Huh. I don't see any of the, um, the cardboard boxes I was looking for. I guess there could be one on the roof. We should pick this up. Uh, what can we get rid of? Anything? Doesn't look like it. Oh, oil barrels aren't stacking properly. There we go. Okay. And uh, if nothing else, at least we got a lot of oil barrels here. Uh, let's make sure we got everything down here before we go up on the roof. Only this guy. I don't need that. Okay. Uh, we did check that one, right? Alright, let's bash this out. So, Gelmoron27 uh, was talking about zombie loot and stuff, and he said uh, the zombies are dropping like loot all the time, which is really nice, but he also mentioned that um, he wants me to... Sh he definitely wants me to show the loot runs, and... He said he said the uh, hunting knife has definitely been nerfed, and I totally agree. The uh, the hunting knife has been nerfed. The uh, the hunting knife can I guess might be useful. I, I don't really know, but the uh, the bone shiv is completely useless now. Uh, let's see, we've got some loot up here. Let's loot this place up. Uh, I really want to take those feathers because I like the crossbow bolt stuff. Um, what can I get rid of? I can't really eat. I can drink, though. So let's go ahead and drink. And then we can take... Oh, we can take this. I'll leave those metal pipes there. Alright, looks like we're all looted up up here. So no auger here. It's a little disappointing. I'm getting used to it, though. <laughs> You know, I mean, there's never any augers anywhere. For me, anyway. There wasn't even a box here that would normally hold the auger, though. That's that's kind of weird. I thought, I figured there would have been that, the garage box, you know what I mean? That would hold the auger. You might be wondering why I'm dealing with the hunter, hunting rifle now. I'm going to actually, like, loot the hunting rifle. I, I probably will only use the hunting rifle, though, you know, uh, during certain situations. I probably won't use it a lot. But it's good to have extra guns just in case. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. And we're going to break this bottom thing off here. There we go. And I am going to take one more look around. And then it looks like we're going to go up there for the night. Empty car box. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. That guy's stuck. Huh. Alright, well, if nothing else, we got some nice loot here. Uh, let me take a look at some of the other comments you guys made. Uh, JC Frago one said, Cage, aren't you going to do a video showing the two types of barbed wire? Uh, I will do a video showing the two types of barbed wire, but 
they don't really work yet. Uh, the first set of barbed wire is like regular barbed wire. I don't even know what that's for. Like, I don't, it doesn't seem to do anything. Here, I'll show you right now what the regular barbed wire is. Oops. All right. All right, this stuff right here is barbed wire. And the zombies just don't walk into it. They, they'll just walk around it or they'll attack another part. They don't really, it doesn't really do anything. And the standalone barbed wire fence is even worse. Like, I've used it in other games and um, it's just, it's kind of useless right now. The zombies will, like, if they come up on barbed wire fencing, they'll just stand there and attack it. They won't, like, they won't walk into it. They won't get hurt or they'll go around it. They just treat it as, like, another wall. So it's pretty much useless. The barbed wire fencing right now is just completely broken, so, uh, yeah. What else we got here? Um, Sean Robinson 3 says, uh, he, t he, he loves watching my videos, talked me into last season, I got hooked. Not much damage unless you spam the attack. He's talking about the knives again. Uh, the knives, you know, don't do a lot of damage. Um, he said he loves the zombie loot, but he also noticed that, uh, there are more zombies, uh, especially when I was in, especially when I was in, uh, Dyersville. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but there was a lot of zombies in Dyersville. And even, even when I would take out a wave of zombies, there were still even more. I don't know if that was just, you know, for that one time or if that's going to be a thing. I don't know if they upped the amount of zombies that spawn. You know, I, I really don't know anything about it, uh, but I just found that interesting and he was pointing that out as well. He said inventory management has always been a problem, and he 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 wants to know if I've heard any news about backpacks or ad, ad pouches and stuff. No, I have not heard anything about backpacks or pouches, but um, they really need to add some kind of backpacks or pouches. And it's kind of funny because you see these things all over the place. You got a purse there. You got a backpack here. Why couldn't I pick up that backpack and just put it on my back? So even if it's only one, it'd give me nine more slots. You know, I could live with that. That'd be pretty cool. So, anyway, uh, that is uh, Bam 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 seventy three zero zero three five said definitely show the loot runs, and Green Chicken one said he found the auger three to four times in Dyersville. It was always in a it was always in a cardboard. So check every box you find the ones in the street as well. Uh, so he said that, now I think when he says cardboard I think he means the garage ones but maybe not I don't know uh, maybe Dyersville isn't as searched as I thought it was my plans are to tomorrow morning get out of here come back and pick up some stuff at my base here and I'm going to make an outpost in Gravetown alright just to give you guys a little a little like uh a little idea of what I'm thinking here. This is going to be where my main base is going to be, right by Spillway Lake. I'm going to make a big base out here in the middle of in the middle of the woods. It's going to be reinforced concrete, probably some wood, uh, just a just a big base. I got an idea how I want to make it, and uh, I'll kind of just wing it as I go. But I, I kind of have an idea what the base is going to look like. But then I want outposts. I think I will probably put an outpost. I'm not really sure I want to put outposts because that's right in the middle. I know I'm going to put an outpost in the south. I think I'm going to put it in Gravetown. Now, this base right here, the base that I just came from, that's a, actually I'll probably make it back there. Let's make it. Let's try and make it back there. I probably could. I don't know why I'm up here talking. Let's go for it, right? Why not? We'll give it a shot. Anyway, that base that I'm heading back to right now, that was going to be my outpost in the south, but. I was actually streaming, and I went into Gravetown on the stream, and there's some really, really cool buildings in Gravetown. Uh, now, I'm talking buildings that are kind of half destroyed, but I think I can build, I think I can rebuild them, and they have really nice setups, like baseline setups, so I'm thinking I'm going to build in Gravetown. I think I'm going to build an outpost in Gravetown. I might even build it before my main base. I'm not, I'm not really, I haven't decided that yet. But, uh, yeah, guys, I think I am... The more and more I talk about it, the more and more I think I like it. I don't know if you guys know the buildings I'm talking about. Not the building I stayed in in Season 2, but there's, like, these these buildings that are, like, half collapsed. And uh, I think they would be really cool if I kind of rebuilt them. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. And plus, I can I can search for the uh, for the auger there as well. Gravetown would be a nice place uh, to build a base from... 
the point of having a base that has a lot of stuff around it, this would be the ideal place to have a base. But I think Gravetown would be really cool. Plus, um, Fat Planet built there. Um, Fat Planet built here as well. So I, you know, I kind of do something a little different than him. Um, oh boy, I thought I, I thought I muted that. <laughs> I actually have my, um, my laptop has a, a timer, and it just went off, and I thought it was muted. Now, this, I should have ran back here earlier. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. But this is, uh, now I'm like kind of crunch time here. It's getting a little, uh, a little close. A little close for comfort. You know, I don't, oh, of course they're all there too. Let me see if I can run around them. Wow, you guys just got owned, man. I just ran right by you. You had a guy guarding the ladder, and I just shot him in the face. Awesome. That worked out really well, actually. All right, guys. So we actually made it back home. Now, I'm going to... You know what? I might as well call it a video. That was 20 minutes. Uh, I just wanted to say that, like, I know you guys like the longer videos, but it makes it a little tough for me to make longer videos because as I make longer videos, the file sizes are getting gigantic. So I don't know if I'm going to make any more 35-minute videos, but I'll probably make between 20 and 30-minute videos. Uh, if I wasn't, like, back at home and about to wait out the night, I would definitely keep recording for another five minutes. But since I'm going to wait out the night, it's a good time to cut the video, so I'm going to do that. Anyway, that's going to be it for episode three, and I'll see you next time for episode four. Till then, take it easy.